Will those in favor of the draft resolution contained in document S slash 2015 slash 482 please raise their hand? The result of the voting is as follows. The draft resolution received 15 votes in favor. The draft resol resolution has been adopted unanimously as resolution 2228 of 2015. And I'll give the representative to the United States of America. Thank you, Mr. President. Today as a council, we have recognized and recommitted to Darfur. We have done so as we face intensifying levels of conflict and a continuing and brutal campaign waged by the government of Sudan and its associated militia. We have done so against a backdrop of massive displacement and reports of horrific crimes like mass rapes. Those living in Darfur continue to be subject to having their homes and communities being burned to the ground and their livelihoods systematically disrupted. We have seen more violent displacement of people in Darfur this last year than in 10 years. 10 years ago, however, Darfur enjoyed a perch at the top of the international peace and security agenda. Today, the suffering of the people of Darfur has become less visible. Our attention has been diverted. The more than 2.5 million internally displaced and 4.4 million people in need of humanitarian assistance today demand an urgent refocusing and recommitment to protecting the civilians threatened in Darfur and, as others have noted, to advancing peace. Today, we have unanimously renewed the peacekeeping mission sent to protect the people of Darfur from those who would do them harm. As we have reaffirmed in the resolution adopted this morning, the Security Council has an enduring responsibility to evaluate our peacekeeping operations performance. That includes considering when and how a mission should end. It is, of course, prudent for this Council to know what it means for UNAMID or any peacekeeping mission to have completed its mission. Sadly, given the very high level of violence and very large numbers of displaced, UNAMID's presence is needed now more than ever. And this resolution makes clear that any refinement of the mission will be based on conditions on the ground and progress toward achieving the clearly identified benchmarks now annexed to the mandated in the resolution. We call upon the government of Sudan and all armed groups to cooperate fully with UNAMID as it seeks to carry out the difficult and critical work of protecting civilians in Darfur against the backdrop of a serious deterioration of the security situation on the ground. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank the representative of the United States for her statement. I give the floor to the representative of the United Kingdom. Thank you, Mr. President. The United Kingdom welcomes the unanimous adoption of Resolution 2228, renewing the mandate of UNAMID. The need for this mission is greater than ever. As council members heard so powerfully in the ARIA meeting earlier this month, last year saw the worst suffering for a decade. Darfur now has more than 2.5 million long-term displaced people. Sudan has the greatest number of IDPs in Africa. Millions go hungry and humanitarian access is too often limited by parties to the conflict. And we remain deeply concerned at the growing reports of abuses and violations of human rights, including those that emerged from Tabit last year. Let us now set aside our differences and give our full support to UNAMID so that it can continue its vital mission. And UNAMID should now focus on improving its protection of civilians, conflict mediation, and support for a peace process. We welcome that it will continue its important human rights role Serious and unanswered allegations of abuses and violations of human rights have dogged Sudan for over a decade. We encourage UNAMID to monitor, verify, and draw attention of the authorities to these reports as a matter of priority. Mr. President, UNAMID cannot continue forever. Through this resolution, we have set out that UNAMID's long-term planning should be based on progress towards a set of agreed benchmarks a political solution to the conflict, starting with the cessation of hostilities, is fundamental to achieving these. We call on all parties to the conflict to work together towards this goal. Does the African Union Peace and Security Council set out in their communique 
we hope that the government of Sudan will play a more constructive role with UNAMID. We all share the objective of a peaceful, stable, and prosperous Sudan. And ultimately, a well-functioning mission able to fulfill its mandate will allow it to leave safely much sooner in the best interests of all parties. But until the government of Sudan and the UN are working together to resolve the terrible situation in Darfur, we cannot consider imminent exit for this mission. We simply cannot afford to lose focus. So in renewing UNAMID's mandate for another year, we have taken the right step to prevent this from happening. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank the representative of the United Kingdom for his statement.